Previously on Fractured Thrones. Ew, what, where did you come from? I, I've been on the roads. I've just arrived today. Uh, you're not with uh, that one over there? No, actually, she's... The caravan? Guess it's not every day you see your own kind sold off, is it? What what, cla what castle is this? Is this... Lit... Lit... Ford? Ah, uh, it's just... Eastern of Ireland. Okay. You're not too far from the Empire, it is. You! Uh, hello. What are you doing wandering around the castle? I, I was hopefully looking for uh, some way to make money, a job, perhaps. You're going to sweep my side, my workspace, daily. Any luck, lad? Uh, yes, actually. I was um, the man with the books upstairs. You want to clean the countertops? He said if I came and sweeped his floor and cleaned his books every day, he'd pay me. Uh, You're going to make sure that the books are dusted? I have a little bit of copper to my name now. Have you ever tried to cross your fingers? Cross my I... fingers? Why would I ever want to cross my fingers? And I got an apple. So, good days. What's your name? Yeah, yes, sir. Uh, oh, sorry, my name's uh, Kyla. Ky Kyla? Yes. Oh, stay out of trouble. Kyla, Skyla, Fisbin. Sniped. <clears throat> right, let's see what today has to offer. Good morning, Tang. Uh, good morning. You okay? Do you know what to do with a dead body? You what? Oh. I'm holding a dead body in my arms. Uh, we should probably report it to the town guards. What the f- what happened there? Um, yeah, let's go. The foreman died in the mines. Uh, well, we should probably- do you know how? God, that's very, uh... I think he was sick. Oh. Perhaps we should bring him to the surgeon then. Maybe they'll be able to give us a bit more insight. I don't know who the surgeon is. Come with me. Do you? I believe okay. so. At least I know where they work. Oh, well, that's not what I expected to start the morning to. How are you? How are you going? Were you close? He was my owner. Oh. Boss. And I guess you're free now? I did a job, and he told me. He said I was a good worker. I you were a good person. I'm sorry for your loss, friend. Get out of the way.
I swear that ramp gets steeper every morning. It's not as treacherous as the mine. I could imagine. <laughs> At least not as treacherous as where I found him. He was deep in the mines? Yes. That is why no one found them. <clears throat> Everyone has been... Knock, knock, knock on the surgeon's door. Knock, knock, knock! Oh. Um, we have a dead body. Let me get the surgeon. Surgeon! Soma! Come on. Yes, Cal, yeah. what do we have? We have, um, front door, a dead one, so... What? I'll be right there. Right here. Oh. Right, right here, Selma. I'm holding it. Cause of death? Sickness. Possible just fatigue. This is the Shit. foreman. I found them deep in the mine. I know of one, but I scout the entire forest on the way Damn it. Alright. I'll yeah, take it from here. We'll see what we can find out about this. Try and see if we can find out what type of sickness it is so that we could be ready to try to try and make better of it. Of course. Ah. Thank you. Thank you for delivering. You're going to be um, okay. We'll yeah. be sure to. We'll be sure to. Yeah. Investigate. In this case, concerned Out of character is it the you. same one that was like bitten by a whole bunch of wolves or oh, women? No, it was from no. the mines. Never mind. <clears throat> Never mind. It is the mining foreman. <sighs> Thank you so they much. They were completely missing yesterday. Explains it. All right. I'll go ahead and get to work on it shortly. I will let you know you. by by any means if whatever sickness have we found, either that or if it's the common one. Thank you. I'll check with the other. You're welcome. I would like going on ahead. to know how to handle this. I'm not used to death. You're a machine, yet you feel emotions? The Warforged, as I saw from her. You're a human, yet you feel emotions. I'm supposed to feel. <laughs> of course I am supposed to feel something like this. However, I didn't think some someone like you could actually feel them. However, I'm not one to judge. You're an interesting Warforged. I've heard stories about, about you and your kind. I never actually seen one in person. I do apologize. Hmm. Seems this it's is the first for you on multiple occasions, then. Yes, Ian Dill, it is. <laughs> How fair those who retreated over the night. So far, just about all of them were, treat were treated fairly and equally. They were all be, be able to get, get up and walk around freely. However, a few of them still... Okay. Well, we'll return them, to I the mines. Remember that we came, going to be came okay. from, all, from all those wolf bites. Hmm. Indeed. Now we'll come back here later. If you need if someone you to talk to, you know, seek me out. I have no idea. Surely, so, surely someone would have heard the commotion. Thank you. Beats me. Me working. and Kel were still in, still inside Castle Lidford. And I was, well, I'd come back here. I'd gone back before late. But do you want silver and twenty copper? <clears throat> 
everyone has their own story. Um, my story is that I arrived to Castle Litford yesterday, yesterday morning. I witnessed another drow, someone of my race that I, I've not come across before, like I've never seen another drow, be sold into slavery. Um, I went around to basically try and survive, that's my goal right now. There's a lot of stuff happening. Um, the area is in famine right now, food is scarce and hard to come by, disease is uh, supposedly starting to work its way through the town as well. Wildlife attacks are becoming more prevalent. <clears throat> And uh, I'm just a little drow boy trying to survive. So, that's my story. As the music guys don't need to adjust it. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I also work for the scribe. Who doesn't appear to be here. My morning routine. Is I sweep all the floors for him and he pays me almost enough for a full meal. So I'm going to RP this out and hopefully he shows up. I don't want the music to be too loud because the MCA and stuff. I also need to adjust my height because I think it's... Much better. <clears throat> Am I twisted? No, not work. See, they removed, they changed the, the mirror in this map so that you can't actually see your tracking balls. That's pretty good. Yeah. And all of my models had different heights set to them, so it's not very pog. Hey, good morning, everyone. I woke up uh, a little bit ago. The fuck, now I'm crouching again. All episode two entail? No idea. <clears throat> I, I like it's not pre-planned. It's not scripted. It's all, you know. I I believe there might be some more interaction with um the other drow girl though. Hopefully, because that's a pretty big plot point for me. I also need food. I should be thinking this in character actually. <laughs> So, finish the sweeping, um, I believe it was, wiped down all the books too, did the rug yesterday, I shouldn't need to do it today, then hopefully the scribe shows up, I get money, and I go buy some breakfast, and I will be good to go. It's uh, interesting about the foreman though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Slept in the hay bales last night. Not the best sleep, but it's better than what I've had on the road as well. I can't really complain at all, can I? <clears throat> Fuck. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Definitely not the best drow boy. I could get away with borrowing from this man. These are interesting designs. Crossbow. Hmm. Shame I can't completely read. <laughs> Hello, Rob. One of my favorite voices in my head. <clears throat> in all honesty, though, if I had this many bookshelves, I'd probably want to hire someone to dust it every day, too. Ones that I have out of character, of course, are incredibly dusty. I always get dusty. So I understand where he's coming from. <sighs> I'm the best drow, don't let anyone tell you otherwise. I'm a drow, everyone's supposed to hate me. Oh, that's quite seizure-inducing. Be sure to make a note for that. Mm-hmm. Mm I wish I had this many books. <clears throat> I did say to pay special attention up here, so. going to be honest, I thought that was him sneaking up behind me on the camera. That was really scary. Mm. I hope he actually shows up, because if, <laughs> if he doesn't, then I'm not going to get paid. Which is not very fun at all, but I do need money, so get this done quickly. <laughs> I'm not married to anyone, and everyone's supposed to hate Drow. And f the, f the fact that I actually have a job here at all, let alone with the scribe, is... is impressive. I should not have been able to get this job. But my charm and my wit pulled through this time. I am so smart. A smart little Drow rogue. My current goal is to have everyone believe I am a poor beggar boy. <clears throat> and then, once everyone believes that, maybe a few things go missing. They won't suspect me, because they have lowered their expectations too far. Kyla, well, I am actually a lot smarter, a lot more cunning, and a lot more brutal than I let everyone believe. In fact, there's only been one time all of yesterday that I 
it's not a good position for the camera. I'm gonna have to adjust that. That I actually let myself drop character. Not drop character, but. I am essentially a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude. Whoa. I don't know if I already did these or not, but... I guess he woke up and had things to do early? I don't know why he leaves all his books out like this. <clears throat> Perhaps. Kyla is a very interesting person. I am a very interesting person. That's me. I am Kyla. <laughs> Well, I've done what I needed to do. Hmm. I always forget that this way the door swings. There we go. Right, now to find somewhere. That's very close. <laughs> I need to fix that again. I think your idea of what's normal or not is skewed, dear. Isn't that a matter of perspective? That is very weird, actually. I can understand him. Well, it's better than being similar to the devil, I suppose. One thing, you know, I've been very much for you, but also by the people over. It's like they don't think we have ears or some shit. How could they miss them? <laughs> ah! <clears throat> that would be a joke. <laughs> Shut up, I know it's joke. <laughs> Shut up. A word of advice, thou have excellent hearing. Oh, wait, really? advice, it's true, you know. They have excellent hearing. That ears are very ah! pointy and very large. Right, uh... Funny how that works. 
I had no idea. I mean, I figured normally I can't um, excuse hear someone from across the way, but where, yeah. if at all, have you last seen the bush lady? Oh my god, put a shirt on. I don't know. She comes from the forest. And they both stuck the ground. That was them. Is the drow woman? Yes. <laughs> no one can bother me out here. Put you up here. And <clears throat> the apple that I totally got legitimately. Set this off. Okay, I need to set this up like properly. Don't mind me. Huh. Hey. Hey, didn't think you that much. Hmm. <laughs> Mm. Apple. Oops. I like watching the water. You don't get this level of immersion anywhere else, fuckers. I wonder if I can... Do you know how hard it is to hold an apple? When you got full body, like, when you got... This is so difficult. <laughs> Which is great because I haven't eaten since lunch yesterday. You look like shit. What? Yeah, you look like shit. You got the kick shit out of kick shit kicked out. Hello. And you like fucking grape juice has been stomped on for too long. No. Oh. Are you okay? The, the fish in my hut. Hmm. I left it for you. Oh. The guards from Dunstead stole it. Sorry. Oh, it's not. It's fine. Better not you catch you 
fucking in there. I understand. I don't care about manners. They've been assholes to me. Where's that drill? It's tied. Uh, you're the new apothecary, whatever they fucking call it. Yes. Uh, leave it. It's tainted anyway now. He's touched it. Excuse me, sir. You don't suppose you stole that? I've forgotten your name. It's, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. It's Kyla. Good to meet you. You're friends with, uh, my boss, right? Yes, he's looking for you. Oh, is he? I was up there early. I didn't see him. Yes. Did he go up? Well, he's right over there. Oh, thank you. Did you want to have words with me, or are you just saying hello? No. Just pointing you in the correct direction. Okay. Thank you. I forgot, I didn't get your name. Sorry, that's probably oh, very rude of me. I win. I win. Better to meet you, I win. I'm sure our paths will cross soon. Yes, considering our mutual acquaintance. Mm. I'd like to get to know you a bit better. Hey, win. Would you now? Sure. Oh. You seem like a polite person. Well. Perhaps we could get to know each other oh. another time. Of course. Excuse me. What did you say your name was again? Sorry. Um, my name is Kat. But uh, what was yours? Uh, my name is Kyla. Kylo. 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 Oh, um, um, good to meet you, um, uh, Ky Kyla. Uh, yeah. <laughs> He's shy. Anyway. <laughs> You didn't steal that, did you? Of course not. Mm. Sir? What the hell? No. I think the Apple bitch ran its course. Hmm, thank you, Bernard. Sir. There you are. There you are. I was looking for you, sir. Great. Um, I'm assuming you're ready to get started. I've actually already finished. You went up there without me. I did. I hope you don't mind. I thought you were already up there, and then by the time I was up there, I already had the stuff in. Don't do it again. Oh. I'm you sorry. You shouldn't be up there unless I'm up there with you. I'm sorry. I, I thought it would be okay. My apologies, sir. That's fine. Just don't do it next time. Of course. I'll yeah. wait for you at the door. Excellent. Here's your pay. Thank you. Ten coppers. Thank you. That's very kind of you.
well, just continue to do good work and uh, maybe the pay will increase and the responsibility as well. Of course, I, I hope so. I'm working very hard. I even did the extra areas that you mentioned before. I double over them just to be, just to be safe. Excellent. Hmm. I'll let you know tomorrow whether it was to my liking. Of course. Once I've inspected. Thank you, sir. All right. All right. Go enjoy the rest of your um, your apple there. Thank you. I I'm will... sure I'll see you around. Mm -hmm. If you need me for anything, I'll probably be skulking about somewhere. Mm-hmm. Very well, sir. Hello, doggy. You want the rest of this apple? You like apples? Very good. Good boy. I befriended a cat yesterday, and I've befriended a dog today. Good days. Good days. Anyway. That's an odd little purple skin. I think he was flirting with me. Anyway. Go about your day, doggy. Don't be seen with the likes of me, people. Like you. Oh my god, it's you. Hello! <gasps> Hello, you. I was not expecting to see you. I'm glad you survived the night. Apparently there were bears around and everything. Little papa. Not papa. Kitten. That's you. Yes. <sighs> Are you two friends? That's an odd couple. But I suppose it could be worse. Have you eaten today, little cat? I don't know what that means. I'm going to hope and say yes. Anyway. You two rapscallions stay out of trouble. I'm sure I'll see you throughout the day. Good luck. Be careful that people are looking mighty hungry. I don't want them to want to dig in. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fresh river water. Okay, <clears throat> my day has officially started. As any good self-respecting drow would do, they would wipe down their hands controllers after putting so much <laughs> apple juice on them. <laughs> Hope you like the immersive experience. <clears throat> oh wow, that was actually the first thing I've eaten in 20 hours. <sighs> I do not know what you're implying, sir, but you impugn my honor. Honor. Yeah, it's. been short. Don't know where he got all his. And this that is drow. my body shape. Now the drow, I don't know. He's, I've seen him with the apple earlier. So I think it's true. Yeah, yeah, I don't know where he got it from. What? Um, I was a little bit more suspicious than your bloated belly. That drow, whatever they were, they bring back. Listen here. Hey, oh. 
I don't know where the apple came from. I, d I don't know. Good day. With plenty of fire, I'm pretty sure that they might stay away. You cannot guarantee that. that. I would prefer that they be buried. Their family lives here. I would prefer that them not be burned in the woods. Alright then. We need to try and see if we can form a plan, a spot of where we can put that bury, put that body and bury it quickly. Perhaps speak into the hunters or I the can trapper. Keep it in the cave. You'd find a good spot. Hmm. I'll try and see if I can ask a few hunters out, but I know, but I no more require just two, just two other hands and two other ones with with a set of hands in order to move that damn thing. I'll accompany you. So. I can move them. Please do. Oh, speaking of a hunter. The nurse or is also heavy. To me. People are light. Excuse me, sir. Ah! Yes. Will you assist me in something? Um. <clears throat> I kind of have to get some food over here, and. I mean, is it very important? Uh, if you do not want to go to my, my workplace and smell of rotten flesh if you're injured. Uh, I, I think I'd better go and see for y'all instead of that. Thank you for the offer, though. You do what you need to do, then. Stay safe. Like I said, like I say, if we work quickly on this, maybe. We can get lucky. Yes. The hill on top. Maybe we can bury that somewhere on the hill. It's if we're close quick to the enough. city. Good. It is. Mm. And the well, soil is much looser up there. Tang? That sounds alright for me. Alright. Excellent. Please, I'll come be able me. to mine out a gravestone for them later. We need uh, tools to dig as well. I don't know if you have any of those. Like, I am a tool. Fair enough. You're a tool? Okay. Did you say twine or twine? You want to stay in this, eh? I said that I was going to find it. Uh, no worries. They told me that they were collecting some wood to repair the mines anyway. So you can assume they're there. <laughs> well, um, you did uh, say you were well endowed uh, the other night, which kept gloating. Maybe that was the reason. Anyways, um, good God, he gets what he. Why is he so surprised? I could have asked him, but he's a drunkard. I wouldn't want. Someone, I wouldn't want someone, wouldn't want someone watching that, watching after us if he was drunk. Probably would have been telling us the truth otherwise. Hmm. Do humans often yell about their phallus? No. That's if you meet some cer something certain of my own species. If you meet one that drinks a whole lot of ale. Well, to be fair, Don't he... Don't put your trust in him too much. Apparently he did get the absolute hell kicked out of him by some uh, roaming army men last night. Did you hear about and that? so man? I've heard. Mm. <laughs> oh. Kel, we have a few helpers. The same ones that brought us the, sa the same body. Oh. Of course. See how we're going to do this. All right then. I'll try and hold up the head and the shoulders. You think you can bring up the legs? Anything else follows? <clears throat> oh, <laughs> I completely forgot. You must have the strength—the strength of about ten men. He moves You're rocks for a living. My God. I bet. All I right. I believe it's more closer to five. <laughs> All right then. Okay, no Let's need to see. brag. 
What's bragging? All right, out here then. Um, well, it's where you uh, <clears throat> mention your skills in order to seem better than a, another person. Kel, would you like to come to a company, yes? Uh, well... I've done my task, so I guess I shall. All right, then. Make sure to close the door on doors on your way out. Let's hurry now. Uh, this Tang. Rotten flesh, this rotten flesh will come up in the next hour or so. You don't know if he was uh, religious or anything, do you? I do not remember him speaking of any gods. I see. I was wondering if we should uh, get the priest in order to... If that was something he was wanting, of course. Ah, here we are. Hmm. What are you? I have a few shovels with me. Now then, let's go. Oh. He forgets that you're a tool, as you said. Well, if we needed shovels, we have them at the mine in abundance. Thank you for your help. What a cute puppy. All right. I believe you would know where the hunters or protectors are better than I would. Something, I believe, but I have not been acquainted with everyone yet. But I am the armor smith here, so I'm helping them where I can. Please don't turn away. Well, there goes the priest. Uh. Hello there, guardsmen. Say, would you mind them. accompanying us on the on an objective that we have? If it permits me leaving the town outskirts, I sadly cannot go along with this mission. What we're doing is just above the hill. So far from as of right now, we have a deceased body here with us that could not could not stay within my workplace and headquarters. For it would smell the place up, and if anyone was injured, they would smell of rotten flesh. No one would want that. Do you want to go with them, lad? Because it is almost noon. Right. Take that one with you. And uh, you should be fine. Alright. I thank you so much for accompanying us. This should end, this should end very quick. Thank and you. if you need payment, it is considered. Over here. After this is done, I should continue the search for the workers. Seems Please that they've do. run off for a moment. Without any foreman, uh... This grass is long. Must have grown from the past couple of days, it seems. Mm. All right, this spot right here should be good. Now then, let's see. I only have the two shovels with me. I can loosen the dirt. All right. <clears throat> Should be quick. We do not want any, want any of these wolves seeing us here. <laughs> Perhaps we should dig it a little bit deeper in case they start to smell the flesh and dig it up. I'm sorry, that's incredibly morbid. I prefer you're fine. The foreman does not get eaten. I totally agree. <clears throat> Otherwise, the wolves, if they eat this, uh, they would carry the sickness. Uh, 
That might have succumbed this man. <laughs> Indeed. <clears throat> How's that? I think this should be deep enough. All right. Piled everything right here, so it should be a one quick sweep in. One, two, three. Put it in. And now... Oh. That's it down. You want to say some words, Tang? You are the closest to him. I will come by later today to the and do so. Of course. I believe that there's business your in the castle. Uh, Thank you so far from your right help. Right now, we both need to go. Thank you for your help. It seems that the courtyard see. bell has been rung. We need to go. Guardsman, do you need any payment? Duly noted. Thank you so much. Come on. Let's go. Of course. By the way, Cat like visited by earlier when you were gone. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. That cat has quite the abrasion. I'm just gonna leave my shovel here. I'm sure someone will find it. What is going on here? Uh, sometimes it feels like I'm the only dwarf that doesn't have it. Town announcement! Gather around! Three to the coin. Come on! <laughs> I am can't always hear the best. Need to make sure I hear it properly. Kinsman? Kinsman. That's the other day that drow was being sold. Oh, you're fine. Just yesterday, yes. Thank you very much. Wait for that guard to get back. And then we'll begin. Yeah, the bloody got fucking lost, is he? Go on, go get him. Oh, sure, make a hole. Make a hole. What's going on? I don't know. I'll try not take up too much of your time. Much appreciated. Make a hole for the lad. <laughs> make a fucking hole. Come on. Don't make me push you to the side. Come on. Hands off me, please. I can move on my own. Oh. My bad didn't want to bash you out of the way. Up! Let them. More reason. We've had some hardships in this town. Mm. Food's been low. We're all fucking hungry. But we get through it. Nah! Oh, I have some bad news. All good. Depending on how you look on it. But I can tell you this. It's gonna help. And our king wouldn't lead us astray. King Gavis has ordered me to tell the rest of you. That our sort us our shortage on food. Has become drastic. And the food that we usually send to the town, we need to separate from the grain and redirect to the castle's granary. What? <laughs> Are they serious? What? Hold on, hold on. For. Oh dear. This is to prevent starvation. For you, oh, maybe. You're starving us. I'm not starving you. They're going to prevent starvation by causing it. What oh, the fuck is that supposed to mean? They're going to prevent their starvation. He just mentioned that. Disgusting fucking thing. And I'm sure that's what the people that's looking after you, giving your homes. 
Giving your shelter is starving themselves. <coughs> Selfish. That would mean we'd have no leadership, wouldn't it? Oh no. Then what? Then we'd have bandits running our town. Shut up. You may want to hold on to that. Taking your friend. It does have a point. We're in some tough times. Aye, maybe the hunters would do their job. Oh, oh, this is going to go very poorly. Yeah, see, there's, there's a fucking bird right there. Shoot, shoot, shoot the bird. That's lunch. Fuck you. Right. Fuck you. Oh, no. oh, and it's gone. This is not the time to shoot. Perhaps there's a silver line to this. Now is not the time to be at each other's throats. Oh, We're going to get a lot more difficult soon. Or do you think I'm inching towards the back of the group? Mm -hmm. I don't want to have any crossfire. And our great king will lead us to a better harvest. This it's our promise. We'll see better days. Sometimes we gotta get kicked on our faces to be able to see the better side. The guy is your work. What is this? Church? Oh, our switches. That's all. Oh, well, at least we'll have our leadership. We're gonna go catch a rabbit, sit in a corner, and sing Kumbaya. What, what well, he's, is this? he's already got one. <laughs> oh, unfortunate news to come back to, but it's probably best that we know of it. Just, uh, just so we can get out of uh, the crowd. What was it about? Because like, he ended up missing me. Just wait right here. We'll be back. As we head back out, I'll fill you in. As you're going to want to know this. Oh, he just left me to the fucking wolves. Where's Freya? Not a wolf. She's back at the tavern. She's bringing your puppy. Is he treating you well at least? Well, he hasn't fucked me or killed me yet, so maybe. I suppose it could be worse. I very much could. I could belong to someone that actually doesn't give a shit about me. Have you eaten today? No, it's not like I want any of their nasty food anyway. It's all rotting from sickness. Apparently one of them has already died from the sickness and he's been in the case for three weeks. Just rotting there. The foreman, I buried him not long ago. You buried him? Did you wash your hands? Not yet. I got called directly here. Didn't carry him though, I didn't touch him. Let's go wash your hands. Okay. We're gonna go down to the river to get some water. We'll be with you shortly. Yeah, Does that mean I can go? Fantastic. Wonderful, thanks. To get to the babysitter. 